Cloudflare Access allows you to securely expose your internal applications and services, enforce user access policies, and log per application activity, all without a VPN. This video will show you how to enable Cloudflare Access, configure an identity provider, build access policies, and enable Access App Launch. Before enabling Access, you need to create an account and add a domain to Cloudflare. If you have a Cloudflare account, sign in, navigate to the Access app, and then click Enable Access. For this demo, Cloudflare Access is already enabled, so let's move on to the next step, configuring an identity provider. Depending on your subscription plan, Access supports integration with all major identity providers, or IDPs, that support OIDC or SAML. To configure an IDP, click the Add button in the Login Methods card, then select an identity provider. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to choose Azure AD. Follow the provider-specific setup instructions to retrieve the application ID and application secret, along with the directory ID. Toggle support groups to on if you want to give Cloudflare access to read specific SAML attributes about the users in your tenant of Azure AD. Enter the required fields, then click Save. If you'd like to test the configuration after saving, click the Test button. Cloudflare Access policies allow you to protect an entire website or resource by defining specific users or groups to deny, allow, or ignore. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to create a policy to protect a generic internal resource, resourceonintra.net. To set up your policy, click Create Access Policy. Let's call this application Internal Wiki. As you can see here, policies can apply to an entire site, a specific path, Apex domain, subdomain, or all subdomains using a wildcard policy. Session duration determines the length of time an authenticated user can access your application without having to log in again. This can range from 30 minutes to one month. Let's choose 24 hours. For the purposes of this demo, let's call the policy just me. You can choose to allow, deny, bypass, or choose non-identity. Non-identity policies enforce authentication flows that don't require an identity provider IDP login, such as service tokens. You can choose to include users by an email address, emails ending in a certain domain, access groups, which are policies defined within the Access app in the dashboard, IP ranges, which lock down a resource to a specific location or add it to an allow list, or you can use your existing Azure groups. Large businesses with complex Azure groupings tend to choose this option. For this demo, let's use an email address. After finalizing the policy parameters, click Save. To test this policy, let's open an incognito window and navigate to the resource, resourceonintra.net. Cloudflare has inserted a login screen that forces me to authenticate. Let's choose Azure AD, log in with the Microsoft username and password, and click Sign In. After a successful authentication, I'm directed to the resource. This process works well for an individual resource or application, but what if you have a large number of resources or applications? That's where Access App Launch comes in handy. Access App Launch serves as a single dashboard for your users to view and launch their allowed applications. Our test domain already has Access App Launch enabled, but to enable this feature, click the Create App Launch Portal button, which usually shows here. In the Edit Access App Launch dialog that appears, select a rule type from the Include drop-down list. You have the option to include the same types of users or groups that you do when creating policies. You also have the option to exclude or require certain users or groups by clicking these buttons. After configuring your rule, click Save. After saving the policy, users can access the App Launch portal at the URL listed on the Access App Launch card. If you or your users navigate to that portal and authenticate, you'll see every application that you or your user is allowed to view based on the Cloudflare access policies you've configured. Now, you're ready to get started with Cloudflare Access. 
In this demo, you've seen how to configure an identity provider, build access policies, and enable access app launch. To learn more about how Cloudflare can help you protect your users and network, visit teams.cloudflare.com backslash access.